Justin Willman. That would have been awesome if I was in the box. People, tonight we are tackling technology. First, can someone get rid of this thing? That's Chris Hardwick's spray tan booth. This is Slide of Mouth. <laughs> Welcome to Slide of Mouth. I'm Justin Willman. Guys, I've been doing magic and comedy since I was 12. And in those six years, uh, technology <laughs> has made my job a lot tougher. The main culprit is Google. Here's why back in the day, after I do a trick for somebody, they'd be like, whoa, how'd you do that? And now they say, whoa, I'm gonna Google that. <laughs> Which is the worst thing you can say to a magician. I'm gonna Google that, that is the worst. Actually, I guess the worst thing you can say to a magician is, hello, I'm from PETA. But the, the second, ah, deal with it. The second worst thing is definitely, I'm gonna Google that. And here's why, because Google, is the enemy of magic. It takes all the mystery out of it. Google is to magic what lights are to strip club carpeting. <laughs> it's just, this guy sadly knows all too well what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tonight, friends, we're fighting back. There's a box. It's gonna be a big deal in a second. Don't forget the box. What's in the box? I'm gonna ask a personal question. I want everyone here to, in your head, think of the person you lost your virginity to, okay? Just think of them. At home, too, think of this person. Go back to that moment, or think ahead to that moment, and... <laughs> He's a baby. Everybody got somebody? This guy, hello, how are you? Is this your, is this your girlfriend? Is it gonna be awkward if, was it her? <laughs> it's not, okay. Who's the, who, who'd you lose your virginity to? Uh, her name was Alice. Alice, okay, wow, was this in the 50s? Alice? <laughs> she was, she was in the Wonderland. Alice, okay, great, fantastic. And honestly, truly, we don't know each other, honest, swear, we're not Facebook friends, right? Or anything like that? I don't follow you on Twitter, you don't follow me on Twitter? No. Nope. Okay, you should. Um, <laughs> but we're not, we're not like Tinder pals or Grindr buddies or <laughs> Snapchatters. No, I've never seen your dick, you've never seen my dick, right? <laughs> You should. Um, <laughs> the point is, we're strangers. And I asked him to say the name of the person he lost his virginity to, and you said, Alice, okay? People, the box. Uh-huh, this is happening. It's been here the whole time. If inside this box I had a prediction that clearly matched what this stranger said, that would be a bona fide, genuine, unsolvable miracle, yes? Yes. yes. Well, check it out, right here, sitting inside my printer the whole time. <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Might be because she can see that I have a printer. Uh, spoiler alert, okay. No, I, I respect that. You could probably gather that I have a, a dude in the sound booth with an iPad, and we've got a Wi-Fi connection. I'm just killing time while it prints, talking about our dicks. That's kind of, that's how, that's how it works. And that's my point, okay? We don't want to know everything. We don't want to know when we're going to die, right? Right? December 26, 2021. We don't want to know these things. Merry Christmas. We also don't want to know how I knew the name of the first girl he ever disappointed. Like, these are things that should remain a mystery. We don't want it to be a printer. We want it to be magic, right? Now it is. Google that. Questioning all life's reality right now. <laughs> Technology might make magic harder, but man, living in a state with legal marijuana makes it much easier. <laughs> to prove my point, I went to a local pot dispensary with my buddy Doug Benson. Check it out. We are here with Doug Benson, AKA Hydini. <laughs> Inhale this. Magic. Technology has changed the way people get high. Now, Doug, when was the last time you smoked weed? Like, 
including now. <laughs> yeah. So. This is a cloud vape and vaporizes it. What makes this unique? Well, that one there um, gets you really high. This yeah. is another smaller vape. It actually plugs into a USB to charge. You know what else it does? It gets you really high. And then I imagine really what sets this one apart is... Uh, oh, that right there? Mm -hmm. There's one thing. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you're really high. Yeah, you're really high. <laughs> Technology is amazing. Oh! Truth be told, I know there's no better audience for magic than high people. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> right, so one, two, right or left? That's too easy. Okay, that's too easy. Cool. Right or left? It's not an easy one. No, it's here, come on! <laughs> I didn't do it yet. I didn't do it yet. Left. Oh, still it? No. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where the hell? Did it? How did you? Imagine a deck of cards. Pluck one out. That's your favorite card. What's your favorite card? I don't have one. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs? You want that one? Imagine the seven of clubs just kind of, just kind of emerging from your brain as a thought into reality, okay? <sighs> just watch. Imagine. Just keep your eyes open, though. Keep your eyes open, and then there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, how is that possible? Oh, my favorite Isn't that amazing? Yeah, we did. How do you do that? When you said seven clubs, like you were thinking of another card first. Like, what was the card you originally were going for in your mind? I mean, what was the other card? There was another card you, you were okay, thinking. Okay, okay. What was it? It was also a seven, maybe? Seven of what? It was like a seven of diamonds. Oh no, I don't no, want to. No, 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 watch. no, 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 no. Okay. It goes right back where it came. It's right there, right there, right there. Imagine the thought. Imagine the thought. There we go. Oh, hell no! That's me! That can't. Devil, you're the devil! The devil! Oh my god! All of us saw that! All of us saw that! Okay. All of us saw that. Okay. Well, Doug, thank yes, you. Thank you. I've learned a lot today. Oh, I'm so high today. I don't know if I'll remember any of it. <laughs> That's the great thing. It's, it was great to see. watch this segment over and over again. Uh -oh. You're in the right state of mind, like our friend. Carla oh, here. It sure smells good in here. <laughs> <laughs> She's happy to be in there. Yeah. This has been a great day. <laughs> Thank you again to Mr. Doug Benson. We'll be right back after a word from the sponsors who paid for all that weed. Slide him out. Um, I'm gonna pick somebody out. Hello, what is your name? Adam. Adam, you're about to get magished. Adam, <laughs> name any type of vegetable or fruit, nice and loud. Apple. Apple. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one day that's gonna work, seriously. One day the guy will say banana and that could have been tonight, but I picked Adam. Great. <laughs> that's actually what we call in the business a magic fail. Which appropriately brings us to our next segment, Instagramazing. <laughs> we asked you guys to send us videos with the hashtag magic fail, where magic goes horribly wrong. This was our favorite. Hi, ich bin's Michel. Und ich bin Sven. Und wir zeigen euch heute unseren ultimativen Trick. Guys, don't, don't feel bad for them. They're German. <laughs> Friends, right now we'd like to invite a super funny guest to come out and do a trick with us. And I could not think of a more fitting person to have on a show about technology than this next guy. He's got a web series, a podcast, an app, and even a show about fantasy football. Please welcome, from the league on FX, Paul Shear. <laughs> Oh, 
Paul, you do so many things, yeah. but you do not do magic. I do not, I'm a huge fan of magic. Until today, ladies and gentlemen. Very excited. You're going to uh, magic for the crowd. Uh, since, honestly, Paul yeah. really does not know what's gonna happen. This is totally fresh. I don't. I wrote up cue cards yes. uh, to guide you through the trick. You read us on the cue cards, you'll be successful. That's it. All right, that's all you need to do. All right, all right here we go. I'm ready to go. All right. <clears throat> I am the amazing Chris Angel Jr. <laughs> the best magician in the world. I am about to blow your mind. <laughs> wow. A little elaborate. I gotta, you know, I gotta step it up. He's so much more dainty than his father. I'm impressed. <laughs> I need a volunteer. Go for it. All right? You, you're right, you're closest. Think Come on up going. here, get him up here. Come on, here Grab we go. Applause. There's a stage there you go. Get in the center here, between the two of us. The mic for you. Yeah. All right. All right. Hello. You just talk to Paul. I'm not here. I'm oh. invisible. Okay. Hello. What's your name? Lindsay. What do you do? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I also do a lot. <laughs> Think of any random playing card. Fifty-two options. <laughs> Narrow it down to one. Um, seven of diamonds. I knew it. <laughs> Allow me to prove it. Last night in bed, after playing with my deck of cards <laughs> and my genitals, I said my magic word. <laughs> Bud Light Lime! <laughs> and then I placed one card into an envelope. This one. Right. Damn right. Now, you didn't know you'd be on stage tonight with the great uh, no. uh, Chris Angel Jr. Uh, <laughs> no. And you, I'm he, very blessed. Though. You're so yeah, blessed. So blessed. Hashtag blessed. Yeah. You could have said any card. You said the what? The seven of diamonds? Diamonds, of course. All right, this is the big moment. You know, peel open the flap. Peel open the flap of the card, you. yeah. Open it? Yeah, peel it open. Really? Yeah, for real. Like I can touch it? You can actually touch it. Yeah. She really has a lot of questions Jeez. about opening an envelope. <laughs> Slowly remove the one card in there. Slowly remove it. Pull it all the way out and dramatically show it to the people. Go for it. In a magic show, that was the best trick he's ever seen in his life. Which is sad for me. <laughs> Guys, in an episode about magic and technology, it is only fair that we hear from the other side. So I went and met up with a group of highly trained robotics experts to get their take. Check it out. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. So the reason I'm here today is hopefully to recruit you guys away from robotics into the world of magic. You show me what you do, I'll show you what I do. We'll make a decision later, what are you saying? What can technology do that magic can't do? Can they like have a code to have these two controllers hook up to this exact same robot to control these two, these two wheels with these two? Magic doesn't do boring things. <laughs> build it. You use tools to do this, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Screw them on. Here's the magic way to build. Hold your hand out, hold your hand out. What the heck? What's your favorite subject in school? I love computers and the technology. What good, though, can come out of technology? I actually built a Lego Mindstorms that solves a Rubik's Cube. Uh, how long does it take your robot to solve a Rubik's Cube? Usually like two minutes. How about? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Figure it out. What are your dreams? Uh, what do you mean? You know, life goals, career stuff. Become a server technician? A server technician. You do know that your dream sounds like a nightmare, right? So you say 3D printers are the wave of the future? Yeah, I think so. Jack, I propose that I can produce more objects in 15 minutes than you can 3D print in 15 minutes. Highly doubt that. Let's do it. All right. And tell me when. Just up. Let me go and change this. <clears throat> All right. Almost done. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You better 3D print your nanny, OK? Because you're going to be crying. Go. What's it doing? Loading up. Oh, yeah? <laughs> One object down. Two silks. Two canes. Whoa, no silks. Two canes. 36 cards. 37 cards. 45 cards. Fake dove. Another fake dove. Tissue. 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 You're just wasting tissues. Real dove. Oh, Perfect. Real dove poop. Fish. Five foot snake. That's a female. Holding ball, yeah? 2D. 3D. Bitch. Four, three, two, one. Time. An air horn. So I made uh, 542 cards, several canes, a whole bunch of scarves, 40-foot spring snake, two live doves, five live fish, and a female woman appear. What'd you do? Build this shark. Build this shark. It's pretty good. Can I have this? Sure. You're a worthy competitor. We'll be back after this. to cap off tonight's episode, I'd like to talk about the best part of technology, which is buying new Am I right? Yeah. It's as American as baseball. As a country, we love acquiring things we don't need. Alaska, Hawaii, <laughs> Florida. And the best part about buying new stuff is destroying the old stuff. As soon as I got my iPhone 6, I chucked my iPhone 5 off a cliff. <laughs> I loved it. It was beautiful. Like an eagle. <laughs> so tonight, let's say farewell to some old friends. The fax machine. The boombox. The original personal computer. And the VCR. So here's the deal. All but one of these is getting smashed. Um, Hello, how are you? Have we met? What's first? VCR. Guys, remember when they used to charge you five bucks if you didn't rewind? How's that working out for you, Blockbuster? <laughs> oh no, here. Hi, how are you? Do we know each other? No, name one. The fax machine. The fax machine. Oh man, remember when a Xerox got drunk and <laughs> the phone and kept the baby? <laughs> Last one. The boombox. The boombox. These days, if you want to have 300 pounds of music on your shoulder, you got to give CeeLo a piggyback ride. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> And now you've left me with just one. The original personal computer. She's a beauty. She's the on-ramp to the information superhighway. This thing here, brought together people from all walks of life. It allowed us to share knowledge, ideas. Most importantly, though, it gave us the one thing that all of us can get behind, our one common love, cat videos. Yeah. 
Do you want to know how he did it? They all had cats in them. <laughs>